Hello and welcome to this OpenTX Quick Tip. Now, I've done loads of OpenTX Quick Tips. There's an entire series that you can go and have a look at. But one of the things that people really seem to be enjoying at the moment is these very quick ones that talk about very specific things. So things like how to take care of the SD card warning, how to disable or change the default positions for your switch warnings, how to do the stuff for the potentiometers. But there's another one that's been mentioned on one of my recent videos. So I need to give a very big shout out to Fanjo. Joe Zilic, apologies, I have probably just completely butchered your name. I really apologize, but a big shout out to that gentleman who suggested this idea. If you haven't already spent a bit of time looking through the OpenTX Quick Tips, I definitely advise you to go and have a look through there. There is absolutely loads of things that you probably didn't even know OpenTX does. And as I find stuff or as I get requests for it, I kind of make videos. So this is absolutely one of those. Now, what I've done is I've actually disabled the trims. So if you needed to disable the trims for whatever reason, maybe you want to make sure that you can't accidentally knock them if you're using your radio with something like a quadcopter so you don't knock it and move it out of the middle position that everything's all set for, then that's relatively easy to do. Now this is all to do with flight modes and again I have a complete video on how the flight modes work. It's one of those amazingly cool parts of the radio that a lot of people don't even understand. So if you have not yet watched that video on flight modes, I'll put a link in the description as well. Go and have a look at that. It explains it. Because what I've done is I've used flight modes here and if I page across then you'll notice that there are flight mode 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I just quickly insert an image of the flight mode screen in Companion, the PC application that I sometimes use to demo stuff on these radios, you'll see that it's a much better layout. It really helps you understand what you can do. And the idea is, is that using a switch or whatever control, you can switch from flight mode to flight mode and each flight mode can have its own trim settings, have its own global variable settings. So you could have a flight mode that's set up that sets all the things that you need for takeoff. Then you have another flight mode that sets everything you need for cruising. And then another flight mode that sets everything you need for coming into land. So things like dropping the landing gear, dropping the flaps, all that stuff at the flick of one switch. But you can also do some other cool stuff as well. So let me just show you what I've done here. So flight mode zero, which is the default one that the radio is always in, unless you set anything up. Uh, you can actually for each and again it's not quite as easy to see on here but i'll just i'll do it because this is the one that most people will probably set it up with by default if you set the trims to zero 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 if we exit out of that then there we go the trims work as normal trim center thank you and if then we go into fm0 again and then you can actually change the different values so it, the, you can have plus minus whatever but if you set it to the two dashes that is disabling it for all the main whoop, for all the main trim control so each of these represent one of these ones up here so now with that set it disables the trims and again if i wanted to have different flight modes so that that changed so as I flicked through different things it might pick up different flight modes and different trim settings then that could be absolutely all done with a fantastic flight mode function in the radio but hopefully that's interesting for those of you you might occasionally have had an issue where you've been to the field you're flying maybe a quadcopter that's been carefully set up didn't realize one of your trims have accidentally been knocked and then wondered why the heck it was drifting like crazy around the field it's probably the trim and by doing something like that you can get rid of the problem from happening in the first place if you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless 360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article, or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.